everyone, welcome to How Inez Rolls. Today I am making a yummy casserole that I'm making for Sunday lunch, and so I need to get started, but it's called Smothered Chicken Queso Casserole. Doesn't that sound good? Let's get started. So one of the first things that I need to do is make some cooked rice. So all I'm doing is taking a cup of, of rice, so the recipe called for about two and a quarter cups or two and a half cups, but I think one cup for me is just fine. So I love finding, um, I love finding recipes for casseroles that have um, rice in them. I don't always find them because they're normally noodles or veggies or something. So I'm just gonna get that going and I'm also gonna get some other prep work going. Okay, so I have um, prepped and chopped a medium bell pepper, and because I know my family, I only did half of the bell pepper. So right now, as you can see, I am trimming um, some of this chicken, and I'll be bringing you closer because I'm gonna be giving it a little bit of a fry, a golden brown fry, and then I'll be putting it in a nine by 13 pan with rice and then the yummy stuff. So let me bring you closer, but it's gonna be good. So while my chicken is getting a golden crisp over here, I have a big bowl in which I will be putting a queso, um, some green chilies, and some half and half plus the bell peppers and mix them together. So it, the recipe called for queso dip. You can buy them in the chip area, they're in the glass jars, but I have nacho cheese in the pantry, so I'm gonna use this. So if you have nacho cheese, uh, use it, because I think it'll be just as good. It, does, it already has kind of like that queso taste. It's got a hint of spice. It is perfect. I think the only difference is that when you buy those quesos in the jar, I think they do have some tomatoes in them. So you may want to even add, if you have a little pico, you could even add a little pico to it if you want the tomatoes. I don't think my family's gonna miss it. So I'm gonna get this all out. And I'll, I'll show you, I'll bring you closer to show you what the, the mix looks like. Okay, as you can see, I have the mixture here. I'm just gonna blend that in. You can see in the background, I've flipped my uh, chicken over, added some more taco seasoning to the top, in which you'll just use one pack of taco seasoning or about two tablespoons total. I'm just gonna mix this in. Now this is just some half and half I had in the fridge. If you, I, I mean, I would assume you could probably use some milk. Um, or maybe even some heavy whipping cream if you have it. I don't see why it would be all that different. So I'm just making a little bit of a sauce and then after this, I will reserve about a cup and then I'll show you what I do next. So remember the rice, it's all cooked and I'm just going to add it. So it calls for a little over two cups, which I think this is perfect. And then I'm just gonna carefully mix that in and put it in the nine by 13 pan that I have over on the other side that I've already sprayed. So you wanna make sure you are spraying your dish beforehand so this rice doesn't stick to the bottom. Looking good. Okay, here's where we put it all together. So the rice is in the bowl or in the pan and I'm just going to put these yummy chickens that I've just given a good little crust to. They're probably not fully cooked, 
because we're going to wrap these with foil, put them in the oven for about 20 to 30 more minutes and I'll explain more of that process as I go along. But doesn't this look delicious? Yum, yum. So I'm just gonna throw some. So we have, it says to make about six chickens, so it'll be three large ones cut in half. As you can see, I just used the whole bag because I have eight or six people in my family and they're boys. So they're kind of on the smaller side anyways, these chickens. So I'm gonna take um, the remaining part and just cover them up. And then I'm gonna put some cheese on it. Now the recipe calls for, um, let me take some of that cheese over here, uh, some Mexican Fiesta cheese, but I just have cheddar, so I'm just gonna use what I have. But if you are wanting to make it follow the recipe, which will be at the end of the video, to a T, let me know if that made a difference. I kind of think it's all gonna be good. So see how I'm kind of smothering it? Oh, this looks and smells delicious already. So now I'm just going to top the whole thing with some cheddar cheese and put a foil on it and put it in the oven to bake. So remember, the, the rice is cooked. So this, now we're just waiting for the rest of the chicken to catch up and to have that sauce bubbling throughout. Yum, yum, I love casseroles. Let me know in the rest in the comments if you love casseroles and how often do you make them? Because I love them. Okay, so we're gonna cover that up, get it in the oven. Okay, my timer just went off for 25 minutes and I'm just going to take the lid or the foil off, cook it for 10 more, and then I'm gonna test the temperature. So my timer's about to go off. So as soon as I do, I'm gonna stick this in one of the thickest pieces to make sure it comes up to 165 degrees, then we know it's good. There's my timer. But I wanted to tell you, because I put cheese on top, that I sprayed the underside of my foil. I've done that the, a, a few times now here. And I just feel like it doesn't stick to the foil, because sometimes cheese does that, and it comes off clean. So let me go take, take a look, and then I'll show you what it looks like. This just came out of the oven. Look how delicious it looks. It almost looks like it's swimming in a sea of cheese, which it's not, because it only had one can and about one cup of cheese. So, oh my gosh, so good. It smells delicious. So you can see behind me, I've chopped up some tomatoes to sprinkle on mine. If you have cilantro, you can put that on as well, but I'm gonna dish up in a couple minutes and then I'll show you what the family thinks. Oh, wow. So good. Is that so good? Yeah. Okay, I the chicken is perfect. It's ready. So what I did is I baked it for 25 minutes rather than 20, and then I opened the top and baked it for 10 more because then the cheese they didn't want it to crisp. All right, as you turn, what do you think? I like it. It's kind of good. It's kind of good. All right, I'm so I can't wait to try mine. How about you, Paul? It's good. Um, Isaiah says it smells a little bit like the white chicken enchiladas. Do you think it tastes like that? I don't. Okay. Me neither. I'm okay. So, yum. Can't wait to eat. So this recipe would also make a great uh, meal prep for uh, upcoming lunches. So you can see here, I, I like to use glass jars or glass bowls for our lunches. And this is for Paul. But this recipe would make great meal prep ahead of time. You can have it for lunch every day for your work schedule. And all you had to do was just make it easy peasy on a Sunday afternoon. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if you do some meal prepping. So I would say that this lunch was a hit and I'm definitely gonna be doing it again and again and again. It is so good. And I'm gonna have the recipe card at the end of this video so you'll be able to make it at your house too. So let me know in the comments if you make it and what you thought of it. So have a wonderful day and I will see you soon and stick around. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Bye.